you have a Shopware 6 store up and running and you want to add support for multiple currencies and languages. In this rather short tutorial, I want to show you how you can do it. Have fun! Hello, it's Alexander from Shop Studio and let's jump directly into my screen. So, here you can see the demo store. And our goal is to add support for multiple currencies and a language switch, thus multiple languages. And it's possible with Shopware 6. It's possible to add them, to display them here on the top right side, in the header basically. But it needs a little bit of configuration, of course. And to start the configuration, we have to, of course, go to the Shopware administration. Now we are in our lovely dashboard. And to make everything easier, because I want to add, for example, Spanish as a language, I recommend to install the free Shopware language pack, because um, it comes with multiple languages, so you don't have to configure them, you don't have to add the, all the translations, so it makes everything a bit easier. If this extension is installed, we have to go to the settings, and now we are on the shop and we search for languages. We are now in the languages and we can see that everything is correct because we have support for English, we have support for Spanish and we have support for German, for example. So we don't have to do anything here. Now we go back to the settings overview and check if the currencies are set up. And the currencies are here on the top right side. So if we have Euro here and US dollar, so of course for Spain we need Euro and we can use US dollar too just to demonstrate the currency switch. Now we go back and check the third thing if the snippets are ready. We can see we have the base snippets for English and German, they come by default, but we have our language pack snippet sets too. And this one here is for Spanish. Now we can start the most important configuration. We have to go to the correct sales channel. Remember that Shopware supports multiple sales channels, for example, multiple domains, multiple stores, multiple languages. And if you want to add currencies or languages, it's not enough to just add them in the settings because you have to explicitly enable them for the correct uh, sales channel. In my case, the storefront. So let's jump to the settings. Countries. So we have enabled United Kingdom and the default country is United Kingdom too. And let's add, for example, Spain. And let's add uh, German. Or Germany, of course. Languages are Spanish. Oh, I made a typo. But I think it's translated with Deutsch. This is the German translation for German. Default language is English. This is fine. Now we can add the currencies. So in our case, we add US dollar too, just to show the currency switch. Here, everything is fine. Now we save it. And let's take a close look at the storefront. We refresh the page. And now we can see that the currency switch is enabled. So we have Euro here and we have um, US dollars here. And if I click on US dollars, we see the price in US dollars. And now we go back to Euro and we are fine. So the first part is done, but somehow the language switch is still missing, even though we have enabled the languages here. This is because it's very important for Shopware to create the domain URLs. Remember, that it's possible for store shopware, for example, to display multiple languages via a path. For example, YouTube tutorial stage in shopstudio.io slash en slash de slash es. Or it's possible to change a top level domain. For example, shop means studio dot es dot en dot de, for example, or dot com. Shopware needs, of course, some of the information to do the correct mapping. And that's why we have to create the domain URLs. Let's create them. I just copy this name here so I don't have to retype it again. And now we add a domain. In our case, it's still HTTPS. So we paste it here. 
and let's add Spanish. Yeah, it's working. We add language. Spanish, of course, the currency is Euro. The snippets are language pack ES minus ES. And we do localization according to language. Now we add the domain. We do the same for German. So we add it here. Now we have the E. Deutsch, this means German. Currency is Euro. Language pack is DE minus DE. Hopefully this is correct. Okay. Localization according to language at domain. And it makes sense to enable the hreflang integration too for zero reasons. So we add it here. So it's safe. And now let's check the result. Go back to the storefront, refresh the page, and something is not working. A famous problem, but maybe the cache. Ah, it's always a cache. This is the main problem number one. There are two hard things in IT, caching problems and naming things. Now we can see we have English, Spanish, and Deutsch. German, and if you, for example, switch to Spanish, we hopefully see that some information will change. Ah, see, sí. contenido y información sobre el producto. This is perfect. And if you go to German, we can see now everything is German. Versandkostenfrei Produktinformationen. All right, and now our goal is reached. We have a language switch now and we have a currency switch now and are more or less international with our Shopboy 6 store. Hopefully you have enjoyed this tutorial. Do not forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel and maybe leave a like and a comment below. And we see us in the next tutorial. Bye.